Yo, what's going on guys? We are back on the Madden 15 today. We got some new final additions as well as a quick update. Now, like many of you, I was trying to make my way through the Mutt Gauntlet and I finally beat it, man. Knocked out each game and they really weren't too hard. Even the Legends game wasn't just too hard and, and the coins were pretty good. You got a solid reward playing each game. I think like what, close to 200k in coins alone from doing these games. And then you get some packs along the way too. So pretty, pretty, pretty nice batch of solos. And also this game, this game made me want to get Dick Lane. You go against Dick Lane in this game and he's a freaking Stuff, man. I was getting hit stick by a freaking cornerback coughing the ball up. So Dick Lane, Dick Lane next season might have to pick him up. Now since we're done with the Mutt Gauntlet, now I wanted to, do we make a run at Barry Sanders? I've been slowly but surely just putting cards I pull in these sets and I haven't made a run or tried to go out and buy any cards for these sets yet, but I need about 20 cards for each set. So I'm halfway done with this set pretty much. I'm thinking, is it worth our while to make a run at Barry Sanders? Right now, this Barry's going for a ton too, man. Right at 1 million coins, 99 overall Barry Sanders, 96 speed, 100 elusiveness, 97 carry, 99 ball carrier vision, and 99 acceleration. Arguably the most elusive back in NFL history, Sanders ran for an incredible 15,269 yards in only 10 NFL seasons. Crazy numbers, ridiculous numbers. One of the best to ever do it. But once again, guys, Barry Sanders, is he worth picking up? Because when it comes to speed backs, you can't beat Mr. Me Chris Johnson. You just can't do it. 98 speed, 99 excel, same trucking. You just can't beat him. Now, Barry, Barry is beating him in agility and elusiveness, but I don't really know how much I weigh that. So in the comments or on Twitter, let me know if you guys think this Barry Sanders is worth picking up. Also, quick player review. If you play with him, let me know, man, because I'm thinking about getting him since I beat the gauntlet. I just don't know if he's worth it. Now, with that out the way today, we got some new final editions in packs. Let's go check them out. This week's final edition player is the Alfred Morris, 95 overall. Should be a beast. Check who all goes in this set. We got a Xavier Rhodes, Andrew Hawkins, Chance Warmack, and a Jaquez Smith. First up, we got Jaquez Smith, 88 overall, left end, 89 speed. First thing I noticed about this card, 89 speed, paired with 95 acceleration. Should be a beast if he can't get free in the backfield. 84 block shed, not that great. 93 finesse move, pretty good. 87 tackle, okay. Final edition, Smith finished second on the Buccaneers in sacks with seven, trailing only Gerald McCoy. Next up, we got Chance Warmack and Alabama product, Road Tide, 88 overall right guard, 6'2", 97 strength, 97 run block, 81, ooh, pass blocking is terrible at only an 81, and impact blocking is only a 91. Final edition, Warmack. Warmack played in over 980 snaps this year and allowed only two sacks and two QB hits. Next up, we have Andrew Hawkins, some Browns getting some more love, 90 overall receiver, 5'7", very, very short, 96 speed though, 95 looseness, 96, wow, 96 catching traffic for such a small guy, that's crazy. Final edition, Hawkins led the Browns in receptions, receiving yards, and earned first downs. Okay, honestly, never heard of this guy. I don't watch a lot of Browns football, but apparently he was he he was silent but deadly for the Browns. He didn't make a lot of noise, I guess, nationally, but for the Browns, he was putting in work. And lastly, the final piece to this set, Xavier Rhodes, a 92 overall cornerback, 6'1", 96 B, 95 man. Ooh, 95 man and 96 zone, as well as 93 press. Pretty good final edition. Allowing only one touchdown all season for a cornerback is incredible. He also totaled 19 pass breakups. Can he catch them? Can he snatch some picks for us? And 76 catch, okay. This car looks pretty legit, not gonna lie. 6-1, nice height, nice speed, nice coverage. This car, this car looks legit, man. Now finally, the final edition, Alfred Morris. 95 overall, 92 speed. Ooh, 92 speed, okay. And 99 trucking. I knew his trucking would be crazy. I wasn't sure how generously it would be with speed, but he actually got some love. 92 speed, not too shabby. Now quickly, I gotta compare this guy to LeGarrette Blunt. Because Blunt's a similar car, crazy trucking, but not the best speed. So where's my Blunt at? Can somebody pass me their Blunt so I can do a quick comparison? And right, okay, looks better than Blunt, faster, better speed, better everything than LeGarrette Blunt. Only faster by two, and trucking is only up by one. Everything else really only went up by one or two, two. Very, very similar cards. One's gonna cost you, what, 150K, the other one probably gonna cost you 20K. Now, unfortunately, we're already all out of All Madden packs. Don't really feel or recommend that All Madden bundle. So we're gonna get a Pro Pack bundle. Quick 15 Pro Pack bundle, see what's in it, see what's moving, see what's shaking around in Pro Packs today. This might be our lucky day, we might pull a dick. We might get a dick lane, or Xavier Rhodes, you never know. Desmond Bishop to start us off, then also once again, Barry Sanders set. I guess we can slowly but surely churn that out. Got a Charles Johnson. I would post this for men, but you guys said you don't like that. You guys say, Berg, hold on to it, give it away in the stream or something. So, okay, not gonna just guard him or 150 him. We'll just hold on to Charles Johnson. Got an elite, base elite. He might go in a set, so I don't think he goes in a set. Next pack up, what is this? AJ Hawk, he just got released today. The Packers just released him. I thought he was a good linebacker, but apparently, I guess that's not the case. Next pack up, ooh, Chance Warmack, all right, final edition. Might be picking up Alfred Morris, but honestly, really, 
Really don't want that card, but once again, Garrett Blunt, pretty much the same card, same build, same type of card. Not really, not really searching for the Alfred Morris. Sure he's a beast though. A little deeper in the pack opening now, Emmanuel Sanders. One more elite, please. AJ Hawk again, oh boy. Thanks, Madden. Love getting the dupes. Cortez Allen, ooh, the binder. Binder this year, man, I thought it was gonna be a good thing. I really did. And I say that because this year they're like, oh guys, don't worry. You don't gotta use contracts this year. You can stock up more players, but that's not the case. We got a ton of collectibles this year, AKA badges to just fill up and bloat our binder. Like honestly, I need I need a 2000 card binder or, or I need badges not to take up slots. One or the other, one or the other. Honestly, right now I'm probably discarding cards that goes in sets or that I could sell for a nice amount, especially with the Barry Sanders setup, but I don't know that and I won't know that because I gotta discard them. I gotta make room in my binder. Here we go, the final three packs left and we're gonna get out of here. I got some gameplay coming out later. Back in action with Michael Vick. That should be fun. Leotis McClevin, cornerback for the Bills. Next pack, oh, what is this? Vontae Leach. I feel like I got an extra card in this pack. I don't know, it was kinda weird. Final pack though, we're gonna end it with a a Todd Hermans, okay. Okay, I'll take it, 84 overall, not too shabby, I guess. And also, final edition, Alfred Morris. If you can't afford him, but you want that type of running back, pick up Football Outsiders of Garrett Blunt. Like, he, he's gonna be a whole lot cheaper and pretty much has the same stats as Morris. But there you have it, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, gameplay will be out later today. I'll see you guys then, peace.